Hi again, guys. It is 12-9-2017. It is 10-15 p.m. East Coast time. I just got this article from a subscriber. Wave of fire-ravaged lots put up for sale in Sonoma County. Just what they wanted them to do. Sell off your property. So people are selling their lots because they don't want to stick around to rebuild. A lot of people who have lost their homes who are elderly or even middle-aged, they just don't want to rebuild. I said in a video earlier that I posted that the rebuilding won't even begin until spring because the EPA, the Army Corps of Engineers, has to remove the hazardous, toxic waste from the fire. So if they can't even begin to rebuild in the spring, they're rebuilding from scratch. There is now a real lack of contractors, builders, because if everybody started rebuilding at the exact same time, well, there were an awful lot of homes that got leveled due to this fire. So, Warren Luke said, I didn't want to rebuild. I didn't want to have to wait two years. In this article, they're saying two years. So people are selling their lots. That certainly would have been far more uh, at a higher price if their homes were there. They are selling their lots and whatever insurance settlements they get, they'll use that money to pay off the mortgage of their former homes. Pay off the mortgage of the homes that were burnt to the ground. You know, if this, if this wasn't deliberate, it would be so heartbreaking, but it is, and we know it. And it's so sickening to see how so many Americans are getting um, so destroyed, deliberately destroyed. The elderly, retirement, Couples, retirement communities, you think they're going to be rebuilding? A retirement community. The whole community is gone outside of uh, San Diego proper. You think they're going to be rebuilding? You know, as I was reading this article, I thought to myself, wow. Well, we know that FEMA is in cahoots with insurance companies with that national flood insurance plan that an awful lot of Americans do not realize that the insurance company that they get flood insurance from it's actually FEMA that they are paying their premiums to and I just thought wow it would be not so surprising if, let's say, a year or two down the line, we come across articles. FEMA, working with real estate agencies to buy up lots, to buy up homes from those who lost their homes due to some catastrophic, catastrophic event. You know, we do have FEMA. Oh, they just go right on in, right after a catastrophe. Hey, let's buy up your homes. That's what happened after Harvey. That's what happened after uh, virtually every catastrophic event. FEMA goes in, buys up whole towns, buys up whole neighborhoods. No joke. Do the research. But here, after Harvey, speed, uh, FEMA wants to speed up purchases of Houston homes hit by repeated floods. 
and they're still doing it in Florida. They want to purchase these homes because they're outside the mega regions. I did post a video on this Kafka Winston World showing that where they were buying up the homes in Florida, these repeated floods, it was outside the mega region. It's brilliant, isn't it? Especially when we can't get through to our fellow Americans who just think that we're paranoid and crazy. You're bipolar. Take your meds. And FEMA it wants to accelerate the buyouts of those properties that get hit by repeated flooding. Well, FEMA, stop! Stop creating these floods! Oh, it's all deliberate. Couldn't you imagine? Can't you imagine? Americans finally getting it and then suddenly we all band together and we go after our government officials wow that's a sweet daydream <laughs>